Hello and welcome to Rashmi's classes. Today we'll discuss how to improve the channel quality indicator, CQI, in LTE, long term evolution. You can consider the following strategies. Increase signal strength. 1. Ensure that the user equipment, UE, or mobile device has a good signal reception. 1. Try to move to an area with better signal strength or consider using an external antenna or signal booster. 2. Place the base station or E node B in locations where it provides better coverage and reduces signal interference. Reduce interference. 1. Minimize co channel interference by optimizing the placement and orientation of antennas, ensuring sufficient antenna isolation, and implementing interference mitigation techniques. 2. Avoid adjacent channel interference by allocating frequency bands with sufficient guard bands between them. 3. Identify and mitigate sources of interference such as electrical equipment, radio frequency, RF, devices, or other wireless networks operating in the same frequency range. Adjust transmission parameters. 1. Increase the transmission power of the E node B if feasible. 1. However, this should be done cautiously to prevent excessive interference. 2. Optimize the modulation and coding schemes MCS, used for data transmission. 2. Higher MCS values provide better spectral efficiency but require better channel conditions. 2. Adjust the MCS based on the current channel conditions to maintain a balance between throughput and reliability. Improve antenna configuration. 1. Utilize multiple antennas and implement techniques like multiple input multiple output MIMO, to improve signal reception and increase data throughput. 2. Consider using beamforming techniques to concentrate the transmitted energy in the direction of the intended UE, improving the signal quality. Reduce transmission latency. 1. Minimize transmission delays, retransmissions, and packet loss to improve overall system efficiency. 1. This can be achieved by optimizing the network architecture, reducing network congestion, and ensuring efficient transport protocols. Perform regular network optimization. 1. Continuously monitor and analyze the network performance to identify areas with poor CQI and take corrective actions accordingly. 2. Conduct drive tests, analyze logs, and use network planning tools to identify coverage gaps, interference sources, or areas with high error rates. 2. Optimize network parameters, antenna configurations, and coverage to address these issues. Remember that improving CQI is a complex task that involves various factors, including network planning, optimization, and environmental considerations. It's recommended to consult with LTE experts, network engineers, or specialized vendors to get specific recommendations tailored to your network environment and requirements. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.